You're about to open you your Christmas gift gonna from me. Let's see if you like it. I'm ready to go running. It is Monday afternoon i was gonna say morning but it's not morning i tried waking up this morning at 4 30 to go running didn't work out yeah i'm gonna get this run done now since i didn't do it in the morning it is currently like 5 30 it's 5 30 but it's pretty dark out so i'm gonna run five miles under 140 beats per minute can we just take a minute and appreciate my little Christmas tree and all the gifts? Yeah, so um, after I go running, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to go pick up my boyfriend's gift. I didn't get it over the weekend, obviously, because he was here and he can't see his gift. So I'm gonna go pick it up and wrap it up and hide it in the back of all the other Christmas gifts. <laughs> Tomorrow, Tuesday, December 19th. Yeah, December 19 is a very important day. I have my last time trial before I start training for Boston. My coach is actually going to meet me at the track and I'm going to do my time trial, which is actually a good thing because every time he's there, I always run faster because I'm trying to impress him. I am back for my run. I had a really good five mile run. Besides the fact that my freaking shoulder has been hurting for the past it's going on to this is the third week back here i can feel like a tingling sensation running down my back and that is not normal i've had this pain before for example um when i run like a 20 mile run then my shoulder starts crumping up and i know it's because i'm i'm like too tense and i have to like loosen up and stuff and then it goes away it only hurts for that time but that pain just started staying with me all throughout the day i started getting that tingling feeling i was telling you about and it just wouldn't go away and the first week i had it i was like okay it's time for me to go get a massage i got a massage it didn't go away it continued for another whole week i finally texted my coach and i told him about it I didn't really want to tell him about it and I guess any if anything hurts I should tell my coach but I was like okay I'll just wait it out it's gonna go away with the massage it never went away and then I, I started to get worried I was like fuck like I can't be hurting like this I can't be in pain every day and not tell him so I told him last Friday he gave me Friday off so I didn't run Friday and I didn't run Saturday and what I did was I soaked in Epsom salt. I feel like it's getting better, but after running right now, it's starting to cramp up again. So I'm just like, ugh. fingers crossed for it to go away. Um, tomorrow I have a time trial. So I'm meeting my coach at the track at 5 in the morning because I have to be at work at 8. So I have to come back and get ready and all that. The time trial only takes like an hour. Anytime that I have an injury, I think for any athlete out there, you can relate. You don't want to be in pain. You don't want to be hurting because then it affects your running and then I just feel like I'm not good enough that's why I didn't want to tell my coach because I feel like he's gonna think I'm falling apart I'm not a worth training I don't know it's just it fucks with me I don't know what to expect to be honest I haven't been able to run my fastest time which was earlier this year I was able to run at 6 minutes and 40 seconds and that was like my fastest mile I've ever done in my whole life existence but I haven't been able to reach that I think the lowest time that I've done um, it, I think it's like 7, 7.16 or 7.15, something around those lines. So hopefully I can get it under 7 tomorrow. And if not, then my coach is going to think I suck. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, I need to stop like letting things get to me. I'm snacking on some raspberries. I'm going to have some coconut water and some regular water. So I have this big bed of salad. And I'm gonna um, mix in my meal prep in there. So I have sweet potato, um, cauliflower rice, and the chicken that I made yesterday. I warmed it up in the microwave, and I'm just gonna pour it on top. I did have a hamburger. I had a hamburger with. 
Good morning guys, I am back from my time trial and I am so happy and excited to share the results with you guys. I did not wear my Fitbit, not my Fitbit, I don't have a Fitbit. I didn't wear my Polar watch when I was running. I wanted to focus and not worry about time until my coach told me my time. I think every time that he's there I run faster. He's always screaming and motivating me so that really helped. For my time trial, my fastest mile to date is 6 minutes and 40 seconds and I ran that right before I ran the Ventura Marathon and I've been struggling to get back down to that time. I remember right after I um, took the month off from running, I ran at 7.40. Today I ran at 6.47. So it's not a PR, but it's definitely 7 seconds closer to my PR. Coach gave me this holiday cocoa trio, hazelnut, vanilla, and chocolate. And then he gave me this book, which I'm so excited about because I haven't been reading. I used to read a lot and then this year I I don't even, actually I, I did read a couple of books, maybe like two max. He gave me um, these, which are perfect cereal, breakfast mix with oatmeal and it has a bunch of nuts and raisins and it's just good stuff so he gave me a bunch of these which is really nice of him to make and prepare so I can have breakfast um, for the next few months um, I think he told me to eat one a week and that should be good so I have two three four five six seven for seven weeks so I'm sad for lunch I'm packing a small salad and I'm gonna do the same thing I did yesterday after my run. I'm gonna warm this up, mix it in there, make a tofu teriyaki um, brown rice salad, I guess. I also always take a yogurt with me, some fruit, and then um, lately I've been getting into these Luna bars, which um, the macros are not too bad, and it only has five grams of sugar, which is awesome. in her little sweater oh she wants all the loving it is Christmas Eve I have my Christmas sweater on I have my Santa ears on I have my earrings on ready to celebrate but we're over here at Home Depot Christmas Eve <laughs> and I thought we were the only ones here but apparently that one person who just passed behind me he's here too what are we doing baby we're doing some, some last, last minute, minute Christmas shopping. My mom loves cactuses. Good morning, guys. It is Christmas morning, so Merry Christmas to you if you celebrate and Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate. I'm red because I'm sitting in front of the Christmas tree. It is... What is that? Okay, I had to come in the room because the Christmas tree show, it's never ending. <laughs> Today is day one of marathon training. It is currently 7 in the morning. I had my alarm go off at 6.10. I'm ready. I'm about to head out. I have a 6 mile run at 8 minute pace. So it'll be under an hour run for sure. Um, what else? That's it. Let's go run. We're gonna come back, shower, and open up some Christmas gifts. Yay, first run of the official marathon training is done. It was a good run, it was a fast run, it was a tiring run, but it's done. And now I'm gonna shower and wait for Santa to come. I am all showered up, makeup on, earrings on. Anyways, we're waiting for the family to get here. Um, half of the family is already here. We're gonna start opening gifts, it's so exciting. Let's go and celebrate some Christmas! So, you're about to open your Christmas gift from me. Let's see if you like it. I didn't have tape, so I have to wrap it with... Oh, hey, I think I got All that. I dropped something right now. Yeah, just rip it. Uh, rip it. Uh, rip it. Uh, 
rip it, gotta rip it. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Flip it! Flip it! Don't flip it! Yeah.